Hi, welcome to our channel. We're so glad that you came back. If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you stick around. We get into some fun and interesting situations together. We sure do. And today we are going to talk about how to make a beautiful pot of flowers for right. your front porch or your back porch, whatever it might be. Trish has been doing this for years. She knows how to make a beautiful pot of flowers she has done it for clients, for right. friends, right. for herself, for years on end. So she's had a lot of practice with this and she has some really great information for us. Well, thank you, Amber. That was a great introduction. Before we get started, we need to talk about our hats. Why are we wearing these fancy hats? Well, of course, most important is we want to be protected from the sun. I like these big brimmed hats because it's, it really provides extra shade on your face and even a little bit on your neck. I love gardening and I know Amber does too. And so it just is, it feels good knowing that you're just really protected. We are getting older. Right. Not that wrinkles are a bad thing, but we do want to make sure we kind of slow that process down because That's right. we are young and vibrant inside and we want to portray that also. So Boom, protect what you your said. skin. Also, when I put on my gardening hat, when I go out, I'm like, it gets me into that mindset. Like, okay, I'm going out to garden. I'm going to get stuff done. It's exciting. I don't know. I just, I, I have my hats. I get to wear my hat. So this is my gardening hat. My baseball cap is, I'm going to get in and do some hardcore cleaning. It's just different for every day, but the gardening hats just kind of get me in that mindset. You're it playing just, the part. I do, yes. And plus, I, don't you wish you it's were so cute. hot like us? <laughs> <laughs> we are it so is. excited that it's getting warmer. We are ready for spring. Yes. More ready for summer. I love summer. I thrive in the summer. I love the warm heat. I do not like being cold at all. And we're jumping on the spring thing a little right. early, but we cannot wait. Sorry for the wind. Hopefully you can hear us. That's right. Hey, kind of just like jostles our hair and because of that like. Oh yeah, it gives Who's us a model. that girl? It gives us <laughs> kind of a model look. <laughs> That's right. So first, before you get started with planting, you want to make sure that you have a good quality soil. I know that when I want to plant my flowers, if I'm going to spend all this time and money putting them together, I want them to thrive. So I start with a good quality soil, organic, which you can get really inexpensively, especially at Costco, which is where I get mine. You can get a big, huge bag for like $8. And right. It's, and it's effective. I've had great results from it. So I like to start with a good soil. Once you have your soil in place, then you want to start the amending process. Amending your soil is really important. You want to make sure that it's, the foundation is right from the very beginning. That's a good point. Right. I have been terrible at amending my soil and oh. my plants have suffered because of it. You're absolutely right. right. If you put that little time and extra effort into the soil, then your plants are going to thank you for it and they're going to be beautiful. Exactly. So the amendment materials that I use are as follows. I like to start with a little bit of coffee grounds. Now you're going to say, why would you use coffee grounds? Coffee grounds provide an acidic formula that helps plants thrive a little bit more. And it specifically can help focus on the vibrance of the color of the plants that you are planting. Hey, coffee does the same thing for me. Oh, when I me. drink it, it gets me vibrant and ready for the day. So I can only imagine that it would do the same thing. That was a plants, really right? good example. <laughs> That's true. So I like to add just a little bit of coffee grounds. And sometimes I'll add just a little bit of manure. We live in a more rural area, so I can go and get fresh manure. I actually like chicken droppings. I hope I'm saying, I know there's actually a correct word that you can use for droppings, chicken droppings. So we'll just say chicken droppings. They drop it and <laughs> it's done. But that actually is a great soil amendment. Um, I also have bought a little bit of sulfur. Um, it's fast acting sulfur. It's just, I just add just a tiny bit to each pot and I just think that it is a great soil amendment. I also like to use a product called Melorganite. Melorganite is a nitrogen, so it's just a great source of minerals. So it has nitrogen, it has phosphate, calcium, and iron, which is a great additive for any kind of plants. So what you're saying is, you give the plants some coffee to perk them up, <laughs> and then you're providing them with some vitamins right? so that they stay healthy and strong. They have a ton of energy throughout the day. Then once that's done, we start the planting. 
So the planting process is as follows. First you need to choose the plants. We have what's called the thriller, the filler, and the spiller. I think that's kind of self-explanatory, but I'm going to explain it to you. So the thriller is the plant that just is the pop. It's the height. It's the see me, see me. I've drank a lot of espresso. Hey. It's a so like, it's the espresso woo, plant. Like, I'm right here. It can be just a simple green plant. It could be something with great color. It can be a grass. Trish also told me something interesting that the thriller is not necessarily in the center. Right. The thriller might be on the side or towards the back. Yep. And then right in front of the, thr the thriller, you do your fillers. And then in the front, you do your spillers and they spill out over the front and they're beautiful. It's a beautiful way of putting it. It just really depends on what plants you're using. You can do whatever you want, but if they're going to be in the front of your house, you want the thriller in the back, then the fillers, and then the spillers. Ooh, say that all. Say that really fast. Thriller, the, filler, spiller. Oh, thriller, thriller, filler, filler, spiller. Thriller, filler, spiller. The thriller, filler, spiller. Thriller, filler, spiller. Thriller, filler, spiller. Thriller, okay, thriller, that's really okay, good. Amber. I like to use grasses, but today we're not. It's a little early in the season, and when I got the plants, there just wasn't a lot to choose from. But I'm going to do my thriller first, and that is a beautiful geranium. It will not be a total thriller. It's going to be more of like a watered down espresso. Maybe we'll say like a latte. <laughs> a latte. Normally, I just I, like I really like a lot of height, but today we're going to do more of like a a latte or a, just a really nice dark roast. Um, I usually like to do more of an espresso. Yeah. So this I, I a geranium. It. I get what you're putting down. You, Wait, how do you say you're that? picking up what I'm putting down. I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> so we, geraniums are going to be our thriller for today. Okay. Then you have the filler, and the filler is the cream and sugar. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. The th since we're going with coffee, hey, we're staying away from biscuits. Okay, we just went there. So we just went there. We weren't going to see the B word. <laughs> It wouldn't be a Gals and Grace video without the biscuits. Without the biscuits. It's the plant that you use to fill in all the little spots. It's usually lower than the Thriller. We have a couple fillers. We have uh, the Viola, just a splash of purple, and French marigolds. Trish, how do you choose your colors? This time, I actually, because my door is a deep blue, I wanted to just have a lot of color. Our house is all cream. So I felt like we just, I needed some depth and I needed some color, just something that just really pops out. So the door is a deep blue and I'm adding a ton of color right out in front. And the back, I'll probably do some pots with just some really pretty greenery, which I think is really pretty. I've seen some beautiful pots where it's all green. There's no color whatsoever. You, the focus is a little bit more on dimension and shape. So it's just personal preference. It's, it's really what you like and what you think complements the area that you're putting the pot in. So these are our fillers. That's what's so great about this project because it's your own artistic exactly. expression. Yes. Whatever you like, do you. Right, you do you. And then you have the spiller. For our spiller, I have, um, it's called Purple Dragon. I think they're so pretty. It's a great ground cover, but it also goes really well in pots and just kind of falls over. I love that look. So I have a question. Are yes. ground covers typically, if you put them in a pot, they will spill? Yes, but these are really pretty. I love them. It has kind of like this, the, the deep green underneath and then the, a lighter green on top. And when they flow over, it just, it's pretty. I think it's gonna complement the other plants that I've chosen. So the Purple Dragons are perennials and we'll come back next year, and then I will just plant new flowers and the pots next year. Perfect. So you have, you'll have less work next year. Exactly. That's right. Okay. All right, Amber, so are you ready to get started? We've already been doing it. Oh, that's right. You're right, Amber, we're actually already finished. And look at the beautiful final results. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's gorgeous, Trish. You have such a gift with flowers and greenery. I'm just amazed at the work oh, you do. Thank you. There's a lot of great color and I just can't wait to see it all grow and uh, can't wait for that spiller to spell out. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye.